Springfield, Missouri was founded in 1838. As the railroad was growing closer to the area, excitement grew within its citizens, knowing change was about to come down the rails. However, a division between the north and south sides of town began to grow as decisions were made on where the tracks would go through Springfield. Springfieldians wanted to change the original route that had been set for years and bring the tracks down into what is the Jordan Creek Valley. Sadly, they refused to come up with the additional $50,000 that could make this possible. In April of 1870, the roaring engines of the first train pulled into the passenger depot on Commercial and Benton Avenue. As crowds of travelers, new products, building materials, and dry goods pulled into the north side, it created economic growth. Well, a lot of advantages to it. Uh, being in contact with what was going on across the country. Um, and it brought a lot, of, uh, a lot of new goods here. It made uh, Springfield more of a trade center. Uh, so it was very, uh, very positive in that extent. Uh, a lot of new businesses, a lot of new growth. Uh, things like the Springfield wagon that you see behind me. Uh, that industry developed here because it was uh, capable of shipping wagons across the country. They talked about it being a crescent uh, uh, of, of different cities that were connected by the railroad. Uh, the Moon City part was uh, because that there had been some derision in the city of Springfield that if the town ever really developed, uh, it would be uh, over the moon. It wouldn't. Uh, it was an impossibility. So uh, once that term of derision, they kind of turned it around on the people that had used it because it did become very successful. In May of 1871, the city of North Springfield was born. That uh, posed a real threat to the old city of Springfield downtown. And uh, the friction between the two communities, uh, one of them trying to show the other one that they were going to be a success, and the other one trying to show them up and, and say that they were, the, uh, they were the established city and that the other one would never be as good as they were. Uh, forced them into a constant conflict trying to outdo each other. Finally, in 1881, streetcars were added linking North Springfield to Springfield proper. Well, they needed a way to connect Springfield and North Springfield mainly, and uh, so they developed a, a, a streetcar run that went from Commercial Street, the business district in North Springfield, down to the public square, uh, which was the business district of Springfield. And uh, then as time developed, they ran a streetcar line east and west across Commercial Street, and then there were other routes throughout the city. After a decade of prosperity and growth, in 1887, both North and South Springfield merged again. The infrastructure that they had developed trying to outdo each other uh, was significantly greater than any other community of the same population or size uh, in the area, and really set Springfield on a path to what it is today making it the most successful and largest community in southwest Missouri. Today, Commercial Street is the heart of the north side of town and is currently in a renovation renaissance. The arts, culinary treats, and music are the lifeblood that continues to help it grow. If you walk down Commercial Street today, you are walking with history as many of the buildings from Moon City's boom still stand. Each of them with a story to tell.